Hello, this is a demo video about the RIBA PEDR tool, found on architecture.com forward slash PEDR. The RIBA PEDR tool is the recognized format to log your time in practice, and forms part of your submission for the UK Part 3 exam. To register as an architect in the UK with the ARB, students must complete Part 1, 2 and 3 qualifications or equivalent, and undertake a minimum of 24 months practical experience. On our PEDR homepage, you can find more information in our helpful user guides. Our student guide has useful information including the practical experience eligibility criteria, part 3 criteria, RIBA policies, tips for job hunting and FAQs. We also have separate guides for employment mentors and professional studies advisors, PSAs, with guidance on how to support students in practice and steps explaining the new online approval process. On architecture.com forward slash PEDR, students can find the registration link under the Getting Started Steps. Whether you previously used the old PEDR website or you're registering as a brand new PEDR user, you must complete this first step. Follow the guidance regarding what email to use and proceed through the steps, or if you are unsure, please contact us. Just to add, mentors and PSAs do not need to register for PEDR access, to approve record sheets. We'll show you how sheets are approved later in this video. Once registered for PEDR access, you can log into your RIBA account, where you'll reach the My Account dashboard first, with the My PEDR menu on the left, and a list of wider RIBA services or content. Under the menu My PEDR and My Quarterly Record Sheets, new users will find the subscription message, to take you to our PEDR subscription menu. Here you can choose from our subscription options, either 6 months or 13 months access. You can pay online and gain access instantly, to add or edit record sheets. Your PEDR dashboard is a new visual summary of project hours completed in approved record sheets. The academic record feeds into your PEDR overview. Approved sheets will populate this automatically and you can download both of these summaries as a PDF to submit for Part 3. On the PEDR tool, you can find a sample record sheet, showing you how it looks when completed and approved. Let's now run through the record sheet listing page. If you're drafting a sheet, select the period dates to open an existing record, to create a new one, click Add New. Typically a sheet should span a period of 3 months. You can select the appropriate categories for your location, stage, level and type of experience, and make sure to list only one placement provider. It's good to double check the details in this section before moving on. You have to complete one section of a sheet at a time, and you can't skip a step. The progress bar at the top of a sheet is a useful guide. Next, the projects listing page allows you to add projects aligning to the RIBA plan of work. The RIBA plan of work can be found on architecture.com. We recommend saving your sheet regularly and the information you enter will be shown in the sheet. You can proofread a sheet and open it online or as a PDF by using the sheet preview panel. In the project section, you can upload attachments to your sheet to provide evidence and support your project information. After saving your attachments, users including mentors and PSAs can find them linked in the online version of the record sheet. The activities section allows you to record non-project hours, and you will find some suggestions in the information boxes. Holiday can be added to the provided box and like in the previous project section, you can upload sheet attachments to show visuals, for example showing slides from a CPD event. The attachments are linked in the HTML sheet view. In a reflective summary, you have the chance to reflect on the past quarter, discussing skills and development, challenges and aims for the next quarter. Saving as you go is recommended. In step 5, we outline key discussion points for your appraisal meeting with your employment mentor. You could discuss in person, over a call or email. Here you can enter your mentor's details and a comment to them, before sharing the sheet. This sends the first email of the two-step process, with a link for a mentor to review your sheet before meeting with you. We recommend contacting your mentor separately to the PEDR tool to make sure they receive the emails okay, especially if submitting late. Once sharing your sheet, a new button will appear in the mentor panel, allowing you to edit details or resend the sheet, simply tick the resend email checkbox. A mentor will receive an email notification like this example. Here is a mentor's perspective for the sheet appraisal, it is read-only access in this first step.
Your mentor can download the supporting documents using the attachment links and preview the sheet to check information and prepare feedback for you. Next, once you and your mentor have held your appraisal meeting, you need to complete the appraisal notes and submit this sheet for your mentor's final approval. This will lock the sheet and you can't make any further edits. A second email notification is sent to your mentor. The sheet will update on the progress bar with approval pending and shows this update box. The invitation to approve email will link to the finalized sheet and now allow them to comment in the provided box and select approve. The approval will appear on a sheet instantly, and the verification is confirmed by the electronic timestamp and the mentor's name. When an employment mentor approves a sheet, you will be notified by email and the progress status is updated on your account. You can next proceed to the final section of a sheet, Submit to PSA. Further advice on PSAs and their role can be found in our student guide. You should check with your PEDR monitoring service which email address you need to enter for your PSA. Enter the contact details and a comment before submitting the sheet. The sheet status updates and an email is sent to the PSA. After submitting, the PSA panel now also has the resend email function available. A PSA can view the sheet online or download as a PDF, view saved attachments, and provide feedback and select approve. You should typically submit sheets within two months after the sheet end date, or a PSA will mark it as submitted late. All sheet approvals are at the discretion of a PSA. The webpage confirms successful approval for the PSA and will send you an email. The sheet status will update to approved by PSA and the PSA's automated e-signature and timestamp will be saved. Both the dashboard and overview update with the newly approved hours in the relevant stage table and charts, including the summary of experience and tally of total months you have worked in practice. Within the approval button options for a mentor and PSA is the please revise button. A mentor or PSA can revert the sheet back for you to edit and suggest amendments using this comments box. The sheet will be reverted for you to edit and an email will notify you with the revisions. Our student guide FAQ explains this further. After amending, you must share and submit the record sheet for approval again. If a mentor or PSA saved comments online before, these will be retained so they can just select approve this second time. Please note, when a PSA selects please revise, this will require you to resubmit the sheet for both mentor and PSA approvals again. A PSA should contact a student before doing this to check this is okay. More information on this button can be found in the mentor and PSA guides on architecture.com forward slash PEDR. We hope this helps explain the PEDR tool, but if you need any further assistance, please contact us on support at reba.org or visit our website, architecture.com forward slash PEDR.